of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. This is a sequel series to the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, which I talked about a few months ago on this channel. So this book is just like the, the Percy Jackson novels. It's about Greek mythology, but it's also about the Roman myths together. Um, we see new myths coming up, and very, it's a very nice story with awesome villains with their backstory. Each a character goes through certain, you know, what to say, character development that we see from the start of the series to the very end. It's a pretty solid series. Um, let's go by, book by book. This is the first book. It's called The Lost Hero. We see many new characters like Jason, Piper, Leo, but in old places, familiar places like Camp Half-Blood. It's a very uh, good story with new demigods. Um, it's a very likable story. It has new villains and we get to introduce each new character with their own backstory with the, in their own perspective. It's a very good book. Let's move on to the next book. This book, we get to introduce Percy in this series. In this book, it's the total opposite. We see old characters in new places like Camp Jupiter, the Roman camp. So that's why it's the complete opposite. That's why these books are so good. They're so different from each other with the tones, the perspective. It's a good book. And um, totally, this is a very solid book. This is the third book. It's called The Mark of Athena. This is where the old characters and the new characters combine for a quest. It's the prophecy of the seven, which they hinted in the last series of the last book, at the last chapter, and the last page. So it's also a good book. We see Annabeth going through um, character development and we see old rivalry coming up and we get to see more new villains and it's all about the rivalry between the Greek and the Roman camps together. Let's go to the next one. This is the fourth book. It's called The House of Hades. This is a very heartbreaking book and a very good book. To say one of the best Riordan books. Um, this book has many adventures and they get to see Tartarus. This book continues the third book a lot nicer and the ending has a big cliffhanger for the final book, the fifth book. So let's get on to it. The last one, it's called The Blood of Olympus. It's where it's the final battle and it's, it's very good, but the ending is slightly unsatisfying for me. Personally, the ending, they could have, um, you know, made it a lot better, you know, the final battle. And the ending was a little bit unsatisfying. But uh, pretty much the whole book is okay. Very good. So I'll rank them one by one. The Lost Hero, first book, 7.5 out of 10. Second book, Son of Neptune, 9 out of 10. Third book, Mark of Athena, 6 out of 10. House of Hades, fourth book, 9.9999 out of 10. Last book, Blood of Olympus, 6.5 out of 10. That's all for this book review. Hope you like this book review and start reading The Heroes of Olympus. It's a very good series and you can pick it up as a beginner. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell. Please share this book review with your friends and families and I hope they will too get inspired and start to read them. Bye bye!